think that when somebody brings some paper with some drawings on it and calls it money, that is all. Then they believe. One who is young, 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 who is Yo, viewers, welcome to JMTV G8. Today is another episode with uh, my father, Sofo Kofiche Ahaji, the great man in Africa. Mm. The man who always tell us African history, who we are and what we're supposed to do. So today we are here to uh, discuss Osiris. I don't know if I mentioned the name well, but when I go to him, maybe he will tell us or uh, he will correct me because always... He correct me that this is how the Ewe name is. So today uh, we are here to discuss Hosiros. Who is that person? And why his name always in his uh, stories or his history that he's always telling us so that we can know more about Hosiros and who is Jesus or where did you do we find that story, uh, Jesus story? So wherever you are watching me, go to YouTube subscribe comment and share as well so that the program will go viral and eh? we need to learn because this is time for africa so let me go to uh, Togbi or sofo kofiche haji uh, to ask him who is Hosaro so that we can know more about this person Togbi, i go my door is on my way okay behind the garage you maybe the for one now yeah. So, Togbi, today we are here. Uh, as you already know, uh, I have to speak the tonal language. Eh? Uh, today we are here. We want to learn or know more about a person that you are always mentioning. I don't know if she, she is or her he. or he. Yeah. Okay. You, you always mention his name, uh, Hosiris. We want to know more about this person. But before that, we want you to introduce yourself to our viewers. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ni hua gbendia. Enye enye. Sofu. Kofiche. Ahaji. Okay. The Kong. Me me khosedo. Okay. Nye ma re ma da kong o chi akok bon ye yao. Ye nye ma re ma da kong ku akok bon wo. Nye ma re ma da kong susu akok buta me wo. Nye sogbo li sa da shi na miya de. Ye le ve vye wo la ve miya le da shi. Ta me do ja na miya katan. I welcome you all to this phase of our discussion program to trace the origin of our ancestry. Yeah. We have had so many stories making the rounds. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the interviewer is asking, he wants to know about Osiris. Mm. The name Osiris was not the original name. Okay. There are so many presentations of the king of the underworld. And the Greeks, when they came, they decided to call him o Oza or Osiris. Okay. But who do we call him? Do we know that one? Mm -hmm. We are yet to find out the actual name. Okay. Which was uh, changed to be Osiris. All right. We haven't found that one yet. Mm -hmm. So nobody should have the impression that we are forging anything. Okay. The one the Greeks gave us. Let us hold on to it and be finding out till we get to the right name. Okay. We did find out the river the Greeks decided to call the Nile mm -hmm. until the king of Axum came out to say that the river called the Nile in actual fact meanders like a snake. So when they were up in the skies they looked at the meandering of the river mm -hmm. and they said no this river meanders like a snake 
Okay. So they named it the Divine River or Sada. Okay. But as far as the Greeks are concerned, mm -hmm. that is the Nile. Okay. If it is Sada, mm -hmm. what's the meaning of Sada? And what's the relevance of Sada mm -hmm. or Ada in the scheme of things? You look on the crown of the pharaohs and you'll see that they had the head of a cobra. Yes. But generally, we call the cobra, every other thing, snake. Yes. Because they all fall into the same family. Yes. And uh, it's supposed to be the element of vitality and fertility. Mm -hmm. So when you look on the crown of the pharaoh and you see the head of a cobra, it means that uh, there is vitality. Mm -hmm. And that uh, the bearer is very strong. Mm. So with that one, you have the cobra. The Japanese still celebrate the cobra festival, the snake festival. Yeah. But what of we? We don't. No. Because we have been Christianized to believe in it's things evil. which are not true. Yes. So you will see that the Japanese every year they celebrate the anniversary. The women will carry the replica manhood mm. and celebrate. Yeah. And cobra is the sign of a strong manhood. Yes. Yeah, these days you see that uh, all these people who are telling us about uh, homosexualism, lesbianism, gayism and all this. They advertise on their Facebook pages that, yes, if you are sexually dysfunctioning, mm -hmm. there are many, many medicines to correct that one. Mm. So with that situation, we will have to find out why the element of uh, sexual dysfunction has become so rampant yes. in the black race. Mm -hmm. So Osiris was uh, proclaimed as the father of all fathers. Okay. And uh, if you should shoot ahead, you will see that in the Bible they said, oh, God created Adam. Mm -hmm. And after some time he created Eve. Eve. Yes. And then they gave birth to two males. Yes. Cain and Cain Abel. And Abel. Mm -hmm. Then Cain killed Abel. Mm -hmm. And then went out somewhere else because he was running away from God. Yes. Then God is supposed to be almighty, all-powerful, all-seeing. Mm. Then uh, when Cain is running away from God, then God asks him, Cain, where are thou? That's a, a beautiful story. Yes. But it has no head. If God is the almighty, all-powerful, all-seeing, then God should not have asked that question of no, Cain, where are thou? Know. You yes. know he is there. Yes. Well, with that story, then we will have to move the next step. Mm -hmm. If Cain killed Abel, like they told us there was offering made, and Cain's offering, the smoke was just circulating around. Yeah. But Abel's offering went up to God. Yes. Giving us the impression that God is staying somewhere up, somewhere. Mm -hmm. And if that is the case, then uh, Cain had to kill Abel because Abel's smoke went up to God in the heavens. Yes. Then we'll have to see this God and find out whether he is a correct God or not. <laughs> if he is a correct God, mm -hmm. And your beloved is going to be killed. You couldn't take him out no. of the enemy hands. Mm -hmm. And you allow the enemy to kill him. Yes. And you want us to believe that, uh, yes, uh, it was uh, one of those things uh, that uh, Abel has to sacrifice himself. Mm -hmm. Then you ask yourself, if Cain killed Abel, mm -hmm. And we were told that uh, God created Adam and, Eve. and later on Eve. Yes. And uh, they ate the forbidden fruit. Mm -hmm. So, then where 
did Cain go to get to the other woman he married? Okay. When you ask them now, they say, oh, I, there were not only two. There were people elsewhere. There have been some names which have been conjured to represent those who were existing at the time of Cain and Abel. Mm -hmm. So it means that the story of the creation of only Adam it's in the so. beginning is not true. Okay. If it were true, then they should not have given birth to only two males. Mm -hmm. And one male will kill the other. Mm -hmm. And go out somewhere to go and marry. Going out somewhere to go and marry means that there was, there were people living elsewhere apart from the so-called Garden of Eden. Yes. If there were people living elsewhere, why did you tell us that Cain, uh, this guy, uh, Adam, was the first and the only man created. Mm -hmm. And then God made Adam go into sleep mm -hmm. to create Eve. So as that aspect of the story, we'll have to take another look at it. Mm -hmm. But then the other aspect is that in uh, ancient Kemetian writings, mm -hmm. Kemet refers to the land of the sun. Yeah right if mm. it is the land of the sun mm. and uh, they have written that the first energy which created or multiplied itself into other parts mm. was known as ta mm -hmm. the ta yeah they write it, the greeks have been writing the ta with p t a h mm. but ta in the tonal language means either the head yes Mm -hmm. or draw, yeah. ta to draw, or oh, ta no. to crawl, ta for so many things. Yes. That tells you that it is part of the tonal language. Yes. And ta multiplied himself, and we got four male, mm -hmm. then four female. Oh, I see. And if you realize that... Uh, Ptolemy, the second Philadelphus, who became a governor of uh, ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. At a point, he married his own sister, Cleopatra, okay. who had earlier given birth to Caesarus, Julius Caesar's son. Mm -hmm. If Cleopatra, when Ptolemy Philadelphus married Cleopatra. The byline was that that was part of the culture okay. of the people there. Mm -hmm. You marry your biological sister okay. to keep the family lineage going. Okay. That no negative uh, ailment will come from outside mm -hmm. to come and destroy your family. Mm. So when Ptolemy married his own biological sister in accordance with the custom. Mm. Then we we'll come to the Avis speaking people who were speaking the tonal language, which Ptolemy and Co. followed their culture. Mm -hmm. And the Avis speaking people, if you have, if you are born by your parents, and after you as the male, the another is born after you, who is a female. Mm -hmm. The Avis have, the Avis as today, or from that time, will tell you that that is your biological wife. Your mother has given you a wife. So they tell you that, they call that lady or that uh, child after you, they call her Nosron, oh, your mother's okay. wife given to you. Mm. So to let me, they followed that one. They said the culture was that when you are born a male mm -hmm. and a female follows you, mm. that is your maternal wife. Okay, but before you continue, do we still have that today in the Everland? No, you don't have it uh, technically like that because uh, we are all supposed to have been... Uh, Civilized, uh, Europeanized, and we believe in things which have no evil. relevance to rest. Mm. Even the belief in the creative energy, we have turned all and said somebody came from somewhere to, to come and die for our sins. Mm. 
even for a man to sleep with a woman and give birth, they say it's a sin. Mm -hmm. One of the sins for which Especially somebody... Especially if you don't get marriage in the Christian side, yes, it is totally... It's a sin. It's yes. an abomination. Yes. So in our present day setting, you can marry your uncle's daughter. Okay. You can marry your uncle's son mm -hmm. or marry your auntie's all these marriages, they are, they are still in some of the communities. Mm. But we are trying to say that those things which were done, we don't agree. Okay. But in the same Bible tells you that when that God created Adam, mm -hmm. he made Adam sleep and took out the ribs of Adam to create Eve. Mm -hmm. Then told Adam and Eve not to eat the fruit in the garden, mm. that forbidden fruit. Mm -hmm. If it, they eat it, they will become wise, they will become like gods, mm -hmm. they will create humanity. Yes. And how do you create humanity? It's only when you have a sexual affair with a woman, mm. between a man and a woman, then you can create humanity. So Adam had an affair with Eve. Then when that God asked him, Adam, where are you? He said, oh, I am naked. I'm hiding from you. Mm. How do you know you are naked? The plant, that tree in the middle of the garden, I said, don't eat. You have eaten it. That's why you know you are naked. How do you eat I the see. fruit which has been forbidden to you? Mm. And then because you are naked, you have produced like the gods. You have created human beings. Mm. So that was how Cain and Abel came. Because of that uh, interaction between Adam and Eve, then Eve gave birth to Cain and Abel. So can we say it's not any fruit but uh, sexual intercourse? That Adam when and they, Eve, when they, they are sucking them away from it, not to who, do it. Who suck them? Uh, when according they say, to the Bible, yes. what they are saying, yeah. When they said, mm -hmm. don't eat the forbidden fruit mm -hmm. because your eyes will be open, you will notice the difference between good and evil. Mm -hmm. Then when they ate that fruit, mm -hmm. their eyes got open. Yes. And they had tied themselves with some leaves. Yeah. Where is the center of the garden? If you as a human being, you want to measure your center mm. from your head to your toes, where is the center? <laughs> and where is the garden? <laughs> the garden okay, is where okay, the pubic okay, hair grows, okay, in okay. the middle. Mm. They are not telling you any other place. They said in the middle of the garden. The garden is your human being. I see. Then the middle of the garden is where you have what uh, we decide to be calling the sexual mm. organs. So that is the mystery of uh, the fabrication. Wow. So if you decide to measure yourself now, mm -hmm. and you arrive at the center, you will see that garden there, where the hair grows There's or where nice the grass is. inside there. Yes. Okay. And you go and take that fruit. Mm. And you take that fruit and you give birth to a child. Okay. okay. That is the center of the okay. garden. Mm. So when God asked them, say, we know we are naked. Mm. How do you know you are naked? You can wear your anything, but immediately it comes to the center of the garden, you, you want to cover it. Yes. And you're covering it from what? Because you say you are naked. Yes. And who was that who tempted Eve? Was it not the it's supposed snake. to be the snake? snake yeah. Which one is the snake? That's the big question. It's not a big question. You know the snake. You okay, have the snake. Yes, 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 that's true. You have the that's snake. True. The, the woman mice, the also one who have, have the, the snake. Both of them have snake. Okay. The male snake mm -hmm. projects outside. Okay. So when the Japanese are celebrating mm -hmm. the snake festival, you see that they carry the male replica of the male organ mm -hmm. projecting out. Mm. But the female organ projects inward. Mm. Is also a snake. Okay. But when it spits, 
it doesn't spit outward. Mm. It spits inward. Yes. Okay. So when the man is uh, engaged in the exercise, the man spits, the man's neck spits outward. Mm -hmm. And the woman's neck receives that one. Mm. And manufactures life out of that. Okay. So that is the allegory of uh, the snake. Okay. Okay. And the Jap Japanese or all others will tell you that the snake is the symbol of fertility and vibrancy. Mm. So until that the male snake speeds into the female snake's belly, mm -hmm. there will be no life. All right, there will be no life. So yes. I think you, you are you are gradually going to the Hosiris main yes. story before I think I ask some questions. So let, let, let's continue from there. So when we had this situation, like I said, Ta mm -hmm. was the head. Mm -hmm. Ta multiplied himself into eight other parts. Mm -hmm. And then we had four males, four females. Mm -hmm. I have told you how they were marrying each other. Mm -hmm. So Osiris, as the senior most one, mm -hmm. married his junior sister, who was also the senior most amongst the women. Oh, okay. Mm? Yes. Then uh, we had uh, Seti, okay. who was Osiris' uh, junior brother, okay. marrying the junior Your sister. sister. Okay. So they did it that According way. According to... So when Osiris married uh, Isis, mm -hmm. Osiris became the king. Then Seti said, no, he's wrong. Osiris is my senior brother. Mm -hmm. So he should have stayed back so that I become the king mm -hmm. and he will advise me. Not he becoming the king, I cannot advise him. Okay, be be because of uh, Osiris, Osiris, younger brother is Seti. young one. Yes. So he if, was saying he wanted you, to be a he king. He should have been installed the king. Okay, so Osiris that the senior one would advise him. Advise him. Oh, okay. okay. But once he didn't go that way and Osiris became the king, mm -hmm. what did he have to do? If he says he's going to wait for Osiris to die before he becomes That's the king, too long. it will take too long. Yes. So let us do away with Osiris. Mm. So what did they do? They invited Osiris to a function. Osiris went there. Mm -hmm and left Isis behind. And when Osiris was at the function, they had made a casket, like a cloth, and they said Osiris should wear it for them to see. Okay. Then Osiris went and laid in the cloth, that which has been sewn for him. Mm -hmm. Then they covered the casket, oh. and tied everything, and dumped into the Southern River Valley. The okay. Seda River. I see. Then the casket went, and because it's a, a part of the mystics, mm -hmm. the baobab opened up okay. and received the casket and hid it. I see. Isis was in the house waiting for the husband to return from the function. Not he was return. not coming. Wow. So, how do you find? Osiris. Mm -hmm. She had to turn herself into a bird and was flying, flying, flying till she spotted the baobab tree which had been cut was taken away to the king of Biblos palace mm -hmm. in uh, the area today we call Lebanon. Mm -hmm. The king of Biblos used that baobab tree stump mm -hmm. to build up his porch on the palace. Okay. The king of Biblos and his wife had given birth to a child. So Isis went, flew, and when she realized that the husband Osiris' body the is Baobab. in the, that palace, she turned into a maid. She turned into a human being and got down to go and become a maid to the king of Biblos and the wife. Okay, but before then, uh, can we say those times, automatically, every human being is, is a very powerful, can tend to 
anything that he want or she want? No, you see, that is part of the mystical science of life. If you are not developed, just like right now, yeah. if you have not developed your consciousness to see A from B, you will be dancing in semicircle. Yeah. You will never know your way out. Th thinking that you are, you okay, are doing but you are something, not. you are not. Mm. So until, like I say, you know yourself. Yes. You don't go around calling yourself James, John, and Peter and you Paul. Think that you because are okay. you are, that is not you. Because I remember there was a pastor uh, said, I can turn to anything, snake, blah, blah, blah. People are saying he's not from God, but until I know myself before, I believe what the man is saying yes. is true. It is over to you to know who you are and what you are capable of doing. I see. But those who are capable of doing some mystical things, don't boast. Yes. They don't talk. N not at all. Not at all. You meet them, uh, the man is capable of uh, doing anything, but when he you meet talk. him, can you please help me do this? You know, what, what is that? It's against the law. Uh, he does not want to expose himself to you. Yes. But if you keep on bragging, you can do this, you can do that. Someone will say that, oh, I can vanish from here and appear anywhere. Mm. He doesn't know that the next man to him has got more powers than him. Yes, yes. You try to vanish and he stops y you. Yes. Because uh, his uh, energies are higher than yours. Yeah. So that's why almost all those who have uh, time. the energies to do those things, okay. they don't. Okay, so let, let's And they don't teach. I, I understand now, okay. Okay, right. Yeah. So when uh, the lady uh, Isis went into the palace of the king of Biblos, she was uh, serving them all right. Mm -hmm. Then it reached a stage where the child she was supposed to be nursing, the child's mother saw Isis holding the heel of the child. Okay. And there was fire burning underneath that child. Mm -hmm. And the Charles' mother shouted, and the king heard the shout. Sent the guards to go and bring the wife. When the wife was brought, and they was asked, what is it that makes you shout? He said, uh, the lady, the maid you employed for me to be taking care of our child, mm -hmm. I have seen her holding the heel of the child with the head down, and there is fire burning underneath that child. Mm. And the king said, no, it's not possible. How can you be my mate and you put my only child in fire? Mm -hmm. Guards, go and bring the lady. And they went and brought Isis with the child. Mm -hmm. And when the king saw the child, there was no fire mark on the child. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, something is definitely wrong. Mm. The wife should not have been lying about what she saw. Yeah. She definitely saw something. And what was it that she saw? Then the king asked uh, Isis, who are you? He said, I am Isis. Wow. Then the king was getting up from the throne and Isis said, no, please, don't. You are king. And the king said, you are Isis? Isis, the Osiris. wife of Osiris, our king of kings? Yes. No, it's not possible. What brought you to my palace to be a maid? Mm -hmm. That is where Isis said, yes, my husband has disappeared for some time. Mm -hmm. And once he has disappeared, I have been looking for him and I have found him in your palace. Yes. Wow. And then the king said, if your husband is in my palace and your husband is the king of kings, no, why should I keep him? Where is he? Wherever he is, take him. And she said, no, that is not how it has been arranged. Mm -hmm. So okay, now I give you the chance, take him. Where is he? So he's in that baobab tree stump you have made, used for your, your porch. Pot. Wow. Say, take him. 
said no problem. Then she commanded the baobab tree stump to come wow. and lie down. So she took a strand of hair from her head mm -hmm. and drew a straight line on the baobab tree stump mm -hmm. and opened it into two and took out the, the casket, casket containing Osiris' body. Wow. And what did she do next? She had to position the baobab tree stump where it was so that the porch does not collapse. Mm -hmm. So when she com commanded, the baobab tree stump came together and she took mm -hmm. calico, uh, she took first the, the red, mm -hmm. then followed by the white. Mm -hmm. And the third one was the blue black mm -hmm. tied around the baobab tree stump and commanded it to go back into position. So you see, you have the British who colonized Egypt. Mm -hmm. Their flag colors are the same, yes. white, uh, red, white, uh, blue, blue, black. black. Yes. You see the United States flag the same. You yes. see the French flag the same. same. Northern Arab countries, they were all using because the that same. that was the powerful color, yeah. the woman. So, when you go to Hadranao in the Volta region or most of the places, you will see these are the, the three colors. fundamental colors. Mm. Declaring the spirituality of the Baobab. I see. You go to Gori Island today, 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 mm -hmm. you will have Baobab trees there. And the Baobab trees during the slave raid and uh, the destruction of the black civilization, it has a hole in it. Mm -hmm. That hole, if you are dumped into it, no, no crane, crane can ever can, discover yes. you. Because it will take you right to the base. This baobab tree standing here, if you open it, you will see that there is a hole in it. Mm -hmm. So when that has been done, and uh, she took the casket and brought it down to the Nile Delta. Okay. She went into a sacred place, a grove somewhere, and took out the male hood, mm -hmm. the penis of Osiris, mm -hmm. and inserted into herself. Okay. And she became pregnant and gave birth to a child who was called Horus. Mm. The Eve say the name is Honsu. Mm. Mm. So you have the Eve saying that a cloma chua kwany a honfone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A hon is what? The eagle. Yes. So you will see that the image of uh, Horus most of the time is the head of the eagle. Yes. So these three colors have become the fundamental principal colors mm -hmm. of those who acquire spiritual energy. Yes. Anything associated with these three colors, you will find them mostly in the shrines. Seriously. What went wrong with us? That we had to abandon the things that have been given to us. Meanwhile, the same people are using it. Yes, they have to use it. When you have been given eyes to see and you refuse not to use your eyes to see, why? And somebody thinks they can use your eyes, he will use it. Hmm. Okay, so if that's the case, is that the story uh, we can say today they use to create Jesus' story for us? Yes, I was telling you, I was asking you about uh, Zeus. Yes. You say you don't know Zeus. Mm. If you look, if you read uh, the Septuagint manuscript, mm -hmm. there are those so-called seventy intellectual Jews who wrote or transcribed the ancient mm -hmm. writings of the Torah. Mm -hmm. well, first, let me ask you: mm -hmm. You have a place in uh, Volta region they call Afajato. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What is a to? Yeah, mountain. mountain. Yeah. So when you say that mountain, Afajato, what are you doing? Tautology. Tautology. Yes. Yes. 
a toe. Mm -hmm. When you look at the, some of the ancient maps, mm -hmm. you will see a toma yes. as a settlement. Yes. You have a tashi. Mm -hmm. If there is toma, then there is tora. We know Ra is the sun. Yeah. Hmm? Mm -hmm. If we have a Torah, and they said the Torah gave the scriptural orientation or meaning of what has been captured in the Bible. Mm. The Torah has been transcribed. They said uh, the king was his name, uh, Ptolemy Philadelphus commissioned 70 intelligent intellectual Jews mm -hmm. to transcribe what they have been taught by Moses, right? Mm -hmm. Into the ordinary Greek or coin Greek language. Yes. If Moses was the one who taught the people in the temples mm -hmm. and they transcribed those things, mm -hmm. then Moses should have lived in the temples, yeah. right? Yeah. And if he lived in the temple, what did he do in the temple? He studied the science of divination to interpret mm. the will of God. So when you go and you take your gumaga yes. and you throw it, the message which comes, whatever you are looking for, when the message comes, if it comes as bemeji, you need not go any further. Oh, okay. Before you continue, or oh, is that... The reason why they said the, the, the Bible is Holy Spirit that he brought it. Brought it. Yeah, but what else? Before the What else can I give you? When they tell you that there is a book of revelations, what is it? Mm. It is revelations because the divine, divination sciences are giving you information about things which happened in the past, things present. which are happening presently, and future. things which will happen in the future. So when you go to the Boko, Mm. And the Boko pulls the Gumaga down and tells you that, okay, this is what is going to happen. For instance, when you go to the Boko and uh, they do the divination, mm -hmm. and they tell you the divinational houses which came, Osa mm -hmm. and Woli. Yeah. You see that our people have a song, Saoli. What does Saoli say? Okay. Hmm? And Saoli tells you that something is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, there is some uh, difficulty yes. on the way. Yes. So Saoli tells you, Vela fima vahohui, Vela fima magayu, Vela fima vahohui, Vela fima magayo, Saoli egbeno oba vela fima magayo. So, so, so even yeah, in the you. song, yes. not Dao, but Sao. Sa? Mm. The two houses of the divination stands. Yes. One who nyang kupo bi asumuno, na misumi na na numa mamre amehuno, me sumuno. Se sada no dunye wu, ko na wu tumi ko heaven na man kubia, enye problem. But the only person who said it's a time for Africa say, you need be, you need to be that up. say, church is a business maker with no fear. Yeah, sorry for the interruption, but uh, I hope you are following follow the, the whole story, uh, how they have brought us what belongs to us, turn it upside down, telling us that it's evil. Meanwhile, they are using it today. So let me go to Sofuku Fitcha Haji for, for him to continue the hotel. Tommy, yes, le, le, let's continue. Yeah. So uh, we read the place where the casket came to the Nile Delta. Yes. Now, uh, Isis took the manhood mm. of Osiris, mm. inserted into herself, mm. and gave birth to the child we know as the Greeks say is Horus. Okay. But uh, Professor, what's the name? Uh, professor, he's a Togolese professor. Okay. He said, Horus is Honsu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If Horus is Honsu, mm -hmm. what is Honsu? A horn is the eagle, like I said. Yeah. But then, 
when she inserted the malehood into her, mm -hmm. she got pregnant and gave birth to that child. Mm -hmm. And the child said, I and my father are oh, one. Ooh, the okay. child is the son, S O M. And that's the and same the father, thing we saw in the Bible. Yes, and the father, mm. the son, S U N, are one. Okay. Mm. But then, mm -hmm. after her birth, uh, after his birth, mm -hmm. the mother, Isis, mm -hmm. gave him to the sister, Neftis, to look after. Okay. So that child was transferred to the sister Neftis. Okay. And Isis left the scene. But then Sati had got that spiritual inclination that the brother's body was back in the land. Okay. So he looked out for the brother's body. Mm. And when he found the body, what did he do? He cut the body into bits. And everywhere, he, he threw the body parts and some were eaten by fishes in the river. Mm -hmm. And when Isis realized what had happened, she came back and started looking for the body, for the body parts oh. to join them up. Okay. And when she did that one, everywhere she found the body part, mm -hmm. she erected a temple. And those are the 14 to 15 temples of the land we know as uh, Kemet. Mm. Having found them, there was one part she didn't find. Okay. That was the penis of the husband. Okay. They said some fishes have chopped the penis. Mm -hmm. That is their own cup of tea. Mm -hmm. All the stories cannot be completely mm -hmm. knitted together. Okay. But then, when that one has happened, and they have found everywhere she built the temple. Mm -hmm. So today, if they come and tell you that there were 70 to 72 Jewish intellectuals mm -hmm. who gave us the 70 wise men transcribing the hieroglyphs mm -hmm. or the Torah, mm -hmm. then you have to find out where were they doing that one. Yeah. Everything has been ascribed to some uh, Israel line. Mm -hmm. Where was Israel? Israel was created in 1948. Mm -hmm. So Israel could not have been there at that time. Yes. And if you tell us that 70 intellectual Jews were there, they were picked six to a place mm -hmm. to give you the 72 or 70, as the Greeks claimed that they had constituted the Septuagint. Mm -hmm. Where did they get the people? There was no state of Israel, so there was no district where you could have gone to take the intellectuals. Yes. And the intellectuals cannot exist in the vacuum. Mm. The intellectuals should be related to a physical location. Yes. And those are the temples. The temples are the houses of knowledge mm. in ancient Egypt mm -hmm. or in ancient Kemet. Mm -hmm. And those houses of knowledge, that is where you go and learn. So when Herodotus and Co came, they went. Oh, okay, they went around, mm -hmm. and they were studying in the temples to know what the people in the temples did. So, 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 can we get the same temple that Hosaros built? Is it the same temple that Herodotus go and study? There, there's no one temple. Okay, like I said, it was not. Her Osiris, okay. it was Isis, Isis. Yeah, who yeah. found Isis, the Osiris, Osiris, Osiris husband, yes. body oh, parts okay. and created temples for it. Mm -hmm. Once uh, that has been done, mm -hmm. those temples are teaching grounds. Okay. You go there and you learn. Okay. And when you have gone there to learn, you acquire knowledge. And having acquired that knowledge, mm -hmm. what do you do with the knowledge? Now they said that... Uh, Ptolemy Philadelphus called intellectuals from these temples mm. to come and tell them, tell the Greeks mm -hmm. what has been captured. Okay. So Ptolemy was supposed to have asked the intellectuals to teach the world mm. or to transcribe what Moses mm -hmm. was supposed to have told them in the temples. Okay. 
But meanwhile, Moses was not born at that time, according to their own no, Bible. Not at all. Moses was not there. No. So where did Moses get the story from? Mm. He had to manufacture. Yes. And we are very good at manufacturing stories. That one, yeah. Yes. So once Fast. they have manufactured that story, the intellectuals, first they said it was the Hebrews who wrote mm -hmm. the Torah. Yes. If the Hebrews were there mm -hmm. and they wrote the Torah, mm -hmm. where from the Jews to come and transcribe what someone else has written? Yeah. If the Hebrews wrote it, the Hebrews should because have translated the Hebrews it. are still there. They are still there. Yeah. And then all that which has been put together from the temples were the stories which were carried bodily because they said that they were putting it into coin ordinary Greek. Yes. Carried bodily through the seas to Hellenism. The the Hellenists are the Greeks. Were the Greeks. Okay. So having taken the information there, then they had who? Oh, Zeus. Mm -hmm. Zeus was the god of the Greeks. Okay. So the story mm -hmm. of Zeus mm -hmm. had no intellectual or philosophical backing. Mm -hmm. So what they have taken from the Seda Valley temples, mm -hmm. they had to create it as the religious backing mm -hmm. oh, okay. of the Zeus story. So we had uh, the Greek Orthodox, what I was taken became the Greek Orthodox Bible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Greek Orthodox Bible was also taken by the Romans mm -hmm. and it became the yeah, Romans Bible. Roman Catholic. Uh, mm -hmm. They had some uh, interesting names so, for so, it. So, because of uh, everybody know that this is where the original thing is coming from. So, let me say they know that Ghana who have uh, the book, then they, they will come and conquer and take it yes and then they will create they, they'll have to pol repolish it mm. like if we're talking about the ghana national anthem yeah what was the original anthem hey, unless you tell us all. Hmm? ghana had a national anthem yeah. under Nkrumah. yeah but uh, it has changed now really yes we changed it oh. why did we change it <laughs> the original Ghana national anthem and Nkrumah was lift high the flag of Ghana, mm -hmm. the gay star shining in the sky, mm -hmm. bright with the souls of our fathers for whose life we live and die, mm -hmm. red for the blood of the heroes in the fight, mm -hmm. green for the fruitful forms of our birthright. Mm -hmm. And linked with this is the shining golden band, mm -hmm. that's the yellow, yeah. which marks the richness of our fatherland. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then when Nkrumah was overthrown, mm -hmm. they changed it to God bless our homeland Ghana. Mm -hmm. So now there is no God bless our home there. No, originally the there was no time. God bless our homeland Ghana. Mm -hmm. It was lift high the flag of Ghana. Lift mm. high the flag of Ghana, the mm. gay star shining in the sky, bright with the souls of our fathers beneath whose shed we live and die. Red for the blood of the heroes in the fight, green for the fruitful farms of our bare right, and linked with this the shining golden band that marks the richness of our fatherland. You see, I was crying because I don't know why we have allowed ourselves to change everything that belongs to us. What, what, but, have, you, uh, what have you changed? You haven't changed anything. But if not you, some of us, I am sure people out there don't know that's how the national anthem was ah. before they change it now, to if God you, bless our home. If you refuse land. to open your eyes to see, it's nobody's fault. So you hmm. have to cry because you have refused to see. But we are in the society. You and that's who are what in which society? Us. You and who are in which society? That's what they taught us, that this is what we have. 
in the schools, in the churches, everywhere, in the community. Yes. You decided to let that one. And who do you want to blame? That's what uh, we came to meet. You got up now, you say your name is called James. That's what we came to meet. You, you call yourself James. Yeah. If your grandfather was telling you that James is a slave name, you would say no. You would say that you are a Christian. Yeah. And is that your grandfather's fault? All right. Uh, so for Kufi Chahaji, uh, yes. your last word of this Huizaro's issue, then I would think we will continue because they, they have many stories, even the Jesus, the whole concept of the Jesus, I think we will discuss that next But time. I told you that Jesus will be well, brought out of the concept of uh, Zeus. Zeus, okay. Because they have gotten the document, the base uh, record already. Okay. Transcribed from the so-called Torah. Okay. Then when they said Jesus and the mother and all these things will run away from so-called Israel, where did they go? They went Maybe back to the place of the black people. Yes. And if the black people were to have embarked upon the migration, mm. where do you think they will migrate to? They are from uh, the delta of the southern. Yeah. And if they were running away, from uh, so-called Israel, mm -hmm. and they are in uh, Southern Delta. Mm -hmm. You think they will run back to where they are being hunted? No. Then they will have to continue and go away. Yeah. So that is what brings about the actual location of the Ark of the Covenant. Mm -hmm. In their own Bible, they are telling you that the Queen Makeda, mm -hmm. the Queen of Sheba, mm -hmm. came from the hilltop mm -hmm. into the valley mm -hmm. to come and meet Solomon. Yeah. So when people are dancing around, arguing that, oh, yes, it was this group of people or those groups of people, <laughs> you just <laughs> leave them. For them because to talk. those groups of people who are making all the claims, then you ask them, when did you stop circumcision? Hmm, it's a very big issue. So I want to find out this. So did Herodotus go to the temples that Sirius or the, the, the woman built? And did yes, he that's find where, out? That's why he went and realized that the people there were speaking a tonal language. Mm -hmm. They possessed the powers of divination to interpret the will the of, of the Creator. Oh, okay. It was when he went there and he discovered, apart from all the, these two aspects, mm -hmm. he discovered that circumcision was a necessary thing for them. Mm -hmm. If you are not circumcised, you don't you enter into the temple. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. And he, re he made so many wondrous uh, things he realized in the temples. Mm. He said, hi. Ah. So that is where the information comes that the people who were in the temples and all, the, they were speaking a tonal language. language. They were dark skin colored people. Mm. So where have they gone to? If you want to trace them, then you walk in their steps. Yes. Mm -hmm. You will find out that. You will find them. Today we are here. So we have Voduda. Yes. Voduda is not a bad thing. No. To free your community? Yes. Is that bad? No. And the Creator Himself recognized the value of the snake deity mm -hmm. and positioned the snake deity. When our ancestors carried the snake date here, they came and they created a home for it and they say this da is the home. The house of snake. Yes. Those who went eastwards, what did they call their deity? Said Buddha. Nekpakovare Nabuvoduda. When they said Jesus was baptized, where? In the Yodan. Yeah. Hmm? The Yodan. Yeah. Yodan. When you are hard pressed, you invoke the, the snake. snake. It yes. will come to your aid. Then you say you don't want that one. You want what? So, your final words to my people. 
your people should try to know the truth, mm. for the truth will make them free. They should not continue dancing in semicircles, believing in something which is not true. Mm. The sea is there. Mm -hmm. Who can tell us the generator which is generating the energy to make the sea flow? Mm -hmm. Nobody. Mm. Who says he knows which engine is operating the sun no. for the sun to be shining? No. Nobody. There are mystical truths which we must hold on to mm -hmm. because what we need for our survival is already with us. So you don't sit at one place and be looking in a different direction mm -hmm. for your salvation. Mm -hmm. Your salvation is with you. Just as you step out now mm -hmm. and you are walking, you will see your shadow mm -hmm. on the ground. You will walk with your shadow. You yeah. can't throw your shadow no. away. Yes. So be yourself. So be yourself. That's Safu Kofi Chahaji. And I am impressed today because I, I have learned something that I never knew. That's how it is. The national anthem. Only that part. Uh, I'm going to put it out there for you and I to know that this is how it is and thank you for watching today's program if you need quality kete uh, quality kete just call mauko quality kete and you have a beautiful kete to go to engagement wedding everywhere uh, if you want writing if you want slippers anything that we use kete to do we will do it for you in the mauko quality kete shop then you too you can have your beautiful outwear to go out there so call them on plus two three three two zero six two zero six eight one four 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 nine eight one four 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 nine and before i go don't forget uh sofu kufiche haji's calendar is there it's ready i have plenty in the house if you need some just uh whatsapp me or call me then uh, you can have yours the book too uh, you see uh, sofu kufiche haji is always busy that's the reason why the book is uh, not ready yet but uh, he's on it he will finish very soon for you guys to have a copy all these things that he was saying some of them yes he read it but some of them he traveled to the place to see if what uh, he was reading is true or not and he find out something that even is not in the book so today he need to put all those things together for you and i to read that this is what we have. So he said his last word, know yourself or be yourself. Know that what will make you who you are is with you. Try to learn that. My uh, DOP is Mauto. My editor is Asalink. And my executive producer is Nanajwa. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.